Well, here's the dash. We're uh, making progress on this 1964 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia convertible. And so the dash is complete. We've got uh, the uh, Curtis 840 display, which is in the spot where the fuel gauge was when received. We've added the JLD 404 and a couple of switches on either side of it. One lights up green, one lights up blue, and we have the video 12 volt gauge underneath. Let's take a look under the bonnet and see the progress. Well, we've got the battery rack in. These are just setting in to show you the placement. We have the uh, charge port in place in the junction box. We have uh, our main disconnect will be on the, either, the other side. We've got wiring going together behind the dash. And nothing's been loomed yet or anything. We have pulled the wire from front to rear. That's what you see laying there. It'll be, um, you know, routed and cut to length. We've also added a 12 volt battery. Removing the larger one that was in the rear by the engine to a smaller AGM up where the spare tire was. And then above that is our charger for this 14.6 kilowatt hour charger or, or battery pack. We're using a 2.5 kilowatt charger. We'll charge this in eight or nine hours if it were fully depleted at uh, 110, four to five on 220. Well, let's take a look at the status in the uh, in the rear in the, under the deck lid here. Well, motor's not in yet, but we have our component board coming together. We've got our side panel on the component board. We've got uh, some of the wiring done. Um, coolant reservoir. But again, the wiring's just been run from front to rear, so it's just all coiled up and waiting for a little more finish work to be done here. So next up is the uh, motor install. We're going to replace the throw out bearing and we are using a lightened flywheel and a Kennedy clutch pack. Here's the rear battery box going together. It sits underneath the uh, underneath behind the seats. Again, just cable that we've run that is uh, rolled up and waiting to be cut to length. So we're going to have the majority of the cells in the back here. There will be 32 in, in the rear. And they're in front of the axle. So they're in this area right here. So down low in front of the rear axle with 12 cells in the front 
will give this a real good weight distribution. This should uh, hold the road and handle nicely. This video is sponsored by EV4U Custom Conversions online at ev4unow.com and evworkshops.com and ev4u's three-day hands-on conversion workshops are the fastest way to go from no knowledge about doing a conversion to being able to do a complete conversion and so we recommend that if you're interested in doing a conversion for yourself or doing a conversion uh, for others. For instance, starting a business or if you have an existing business. Uh, we have a lot of people that are uh, already in the automotive repair business that are thinking about adding a little side uh, business because they see the writing on the wall and so they want to get in early build the uh, experience that they need to be someone who's recognized and known in the industry but the fastest method to learn what you need to know is going to be one of ev for us three-day hands-on conversion workshops now perhaps you're not in a hurry perhaps you don't want to travel to northern california and attend a workshop in person well then the workshops are also available at evworkshops.com and you can take the workshop online the online version offers a few things that you don't get in the hands-on version strictly because of the fact that there's no time limitation so whereas we have to fit everything within three days uh, in the hands-on uh, scenario in the online there's additional information additional examples provided that you don't get in person but again, there's benefits to the hands-on version also. It kind of depends on your learning style for one. Another is that uh, you have the opportunity to interact with others. We have folks from all over the world and from all different educational backgrounds that attend these workshops. So you get more than just the ev for you content. You get the input from others that have varying backgrounds and so it's quite an intense three days of learning and you get to meet people from all over the world so uh, you know after hours people get together and uh, go out to eat and converse and so it's uh, it's an intense three days of learning but it's also uh, three days of of good times and so you know regardless of what your objective is. If you're just looking to uh, convert your favorite car to electric, if you're wanting to make a business out of it, uh, whatever your you know objective is, this is not only the fastest way, but it's the best way, the most complete way. Whether it be a DC conversion that you're interested in or AC conversion, whether you're interested in components that you can buy off the shelf or components that you can uh, get out of salvaged electric vehicles. All these things are covered in detail. And it is uh, a very complete coverage of the conversion process.